Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss this acid base balance. Okay, what acid base balance? In usually we don't bother about it much, but but in many exams in many exams it will haunt you like anything. So the basic feeling I'll get whenever I study acid base balance is what the f. What is what the f? No. <laughs> it's funny. W, you think it's water pH. Water pH is 7, but you remember here it has 7.4. It's just a small mnemonic to remember. Because after reading thousands and thousands of topics, you'll definitely forget what pH, what this, what is that. So, I made just a simple mnemonic and T T for 20 26 is HCO3 minus milliequivalents F for 40 40 mmHg CO2 these are the normal values got it guys what the F means 7.4 26 40 just remember it like this Okay, I got the normal values. But what is the basic concept behind acid base balance? Okay, in your UG life, you'll have one Kamina friend. In UG, you'll have a Kamina friend. Whatever you both do, you both do silently. The same thing happens in our body. For kidney, it is lungs. For lungs, it is kidney. They're best friends forever. So whatever they do, they compensate each other. So what is the basic concept? It is a basic chemistry you'll have it here. See this? When water binds with CO2, you'll get HCO, H2CO3 and it will split into H plus and HCO3 minus. This is a basic chemistry we know from 10th standard. It is a reversible equation. We know it as well. It will go either direction. We know it as well. But when it comes to acidosis alkalosis, you'll mix it up. What you'll mix it up is whenever there is a respiratory problem in your body, there is an increase in CO2 and lungs can't expire much CO2. In such conditions, CO2 will increase. The CO2 will bind to H2O, obviously, and this H2CO, H2CO3 will be formed. This H2CO3 will increase H plus and HCO3 minus this is the reason increase in H plus means acidosis increase in H plus acidosis means pH decrease this is nothing but basic mechanism behind respiratory acidosis the same way respiratory alkalosis respiratory problem means you have to remember the problem is with CO2 and then in respiratory alkalosis, uh, lung will expire more CO2, there will be less CO2. Whenever there is less CO2, there will be less H2CO3 and then will be less H+. Less H+, means it is less acidic, more alkaline. That means pH will increase, obviously. This is a basic concept. Then here comes a metabolic problem. Whenever there is a metabolic problem, your kidney can't excrete HCO3 minus or it will increase increase excretion of HCO3 minus whatever may be the reason increase HCO3 minus means it will bind to more H plus and it, it will cause deficit in H plus less H plus means it is alkaline that means pH will increase once again I am repeating in respiratory problem in acidosis if increase in CO2 lung can't expire increase in CO2 causes more H2CO3 more H plus and less pH means acidosis if decrease in CO2 less than 40 that means less H2CO3 and less H plus that means pH will increase that is nothing but alkalosis when it comes to metabolic if increase in HCO3 minus 
because yes, availability of H plus will be less. Whenever less H plus is available, that fluid will be alkaline. Then pH will increase. The same way metabolic acidosis, reduced HCO3 minus, causes more availability of H plus. More availability of H plus means the, the solution is acidic. That means pH will be low. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. But, 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 after reading many, many topics, you can't, you can't remember this whole thing. Bro, we have modern solutions for modern problems. So the reason I made an other mnemonic roams. In respiratory problem, pH with respect to CO2 and HCO3- minus is in opposite direction. Once you take a problem regarding respiratory acidosis or metabolic acidosis, you'll have a You'll have exa many examples in the internet. You see it. Whenever there is a opposite direction of change in pH with respect to CO2 and HCO3 minus, that is a respiratory problem. Whenever pH decreases, that is respiratory acidosis. Whenever pH increases, that is respiratory alkalosis. There comes the metabolic metabolic problem. The pH change with respect to CO2 and HCO3 minus will be on the same side. You remember this simple mnemonic roams respiratory opposite metabolic same side you'll get you'll crack the mcq very easily otherwise you'll mix it up all this concept you can't you, you don't have that much time to think all this matter and put your answer so rely on simple mnemonics this is very easy for example in respiratory Alkalosis. Alkalosis means pH increases, but HCO HCO3 minus and CO2 will decreases. Both in opera opposite direction. You know the normal values. You correlate with the question. You put the answer. The same way, pH increases means alkalosis with respect to HCO3 minus HCO3 minus increases CO2 increases both in same direction it is metabolic alkalosis this is a complex concept remembering in a simple way rooms okay bro I got the concept rooms is easy I can keep any answer but the MCQs and questions are leveling up they are asking about compensation 80% exams will ask, ask until this this but if they want to increase the question uh, I mean toughness rigidness uh, toughness they will definitely go into the compensation we learned that lung is a good best friend for kidney kidney is a best friend for lung so we have to discuss a small topic here whenever there is a respiratory acidosis because of respiratory there was acidosis our kidney try to reduce this acidosis by increasing metabolic alkalosis the vice versa for respiratory alkalosis because of respiratory problem there is an alkalosis in the body our kidney try to do metabolic acidosis increase metabolic acidosis both will compensate the same happen with metabolic acid alkalosis because of kidney there is alkalosis because of uh, lungs it will turn into acidosis so this is the this is how our body compensate acidosis or alkalosis but in the exams you will given a random numbers he will ask whether it is compensated or not so you should remember some more things in this concept you have to so for respiratory compensation for respiratory compensation I have a sim i have a mnemonic called 1424 rule it is easy to remember that means for every 10 mm hg increase in co2 because of respiratory problem there is an increase in co2 so for every 10 mm increase in CO2 in acute conditions 
for acidosis you sh there must be increase of 1 milli equivalent of HCO3 minus what for every 10 mm of Hg of CO2 in acute acidosis condition there must be a HCO3 minus increase in 1 milli equivalent this is a compensation done by kidney the same thing for every chronic respiratory acidosis condition for every 10 mm Hg increase in CO2 HCO3 minus must increase by 4 mm 4 milli equivalents I'm sorry 4 milli equivalents 1 4 or 10 in alkalosis conditions respiratory alkalosis conditions which is acute problem for every 10 mm of Hg of increase in CO2 there must be HCO3 minus increase by 2 same way in chronic alkalosis for every 10 mm of Hg, Hg, uh, mm of, Hg of CO2 increase there must be increase of 4 of HCO3 minus so 1 4 2 4 got it 1 4 2 4 rule this is very simple you have to remember 1 4 2 4 rule you have to pictorically remember one after the other acute acidosis chronic acidosis acute alkalosis chronic alkalosis you shouldn't mix it up you have to remember this he will put some random numbers he will give some chronic history of respiratory problem then you will decide whether it is acidosis or alkalosis whether it is respiratory or metabolic if it is respiratory and it is a chronic condition you name it as chronic respiratory acidosis but he will ask whether it is compensated or not compensated so then you see that the question given CO2 was 60 and HCO3 minus is 28 we'll write it here 60 CO2 28 HCO3 minus 5 and he gave a acute history of respiratory problem definitely normal is 40 increase is 20 for every 20 there must be increase in 2 so normal is 26 increase it to 28 so you you write it as compensated respiratory problem which is compensated the same way he will give as many as problems and will harass you in the exams by remembering this simple 1424 rule this WTF and this ROMES we can answer any question any question I am not done yet bro there is one more compensation here metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis problems are there now we discussed just respiratory problems I can't figure out any mnemonic for this you have to mug up at any cost if you can find any mnemonic for them please comment in the comment section for every HCO3 minus metabolic acidosis how metabolic acidosis occurs we learn HCO3 minus decreases so it will it will improve H plus ions it will it will cause free H plus ions the reason acidosis will occur and pH will decrease we learnt we learnt about it so for every HCO3 minus decrease there must be an accept, expected CO2 number expect, expected CO2 pressure PSCO2 so for this metabolic acidosis you will have a formula 1.5 into HCO3 minus plus 8 plus or minus 2 it should be in this range then only 
we'll call it metabolic acidosis with compensated respiratory alkalosis. If not, if not, non-compensated. Same thing, you have to remember, very easy thing to remember in all these formulas is this one. Just you add 15. So, somehow I remember like this. This is 15, this is 1.5. Uh, you add 15 to HCO3 minus 10, expected CO2 must be in this range. For example, metabolic alkalosis, you have a problem, you gave a numbers, you got the solution as metabolic alkalosis, then he is asking you whether it is compensated or non-compensated, then you apply this. You take HCO3 minus number, add 15 to it, you get something X, this X must be equal to CO2. Same thing, you take HCO3 minus, you multiply it with the 1.5, you add some 8 or so and plus or minus 2. That means it must be in this range. This is how you have to remember this, what the F topic don't know how I remember but I figured out some way to explain you and some, some way to remember myself so I made this just three mnemonics four important points you'll crack it you crack any bit any question any clinical question W T F water pH 7.4 in and around water pH is around 7 we know that drinking water pH is around 6 to 8 uh, so you, uh, you just remember 7.4 you have to remember this you will land in problem otherwise T 26 for HCO3 minus F 40 for CO2 this is the normal values you can conclude them as normal and you apply to your problem in any exam in clinical questions or in your practical questions you can apply this and this concept okay this is messy I can't remember just remember this pH change with respect to HCO3 minus C and CO2 is an opposite direction opposite direction respiratory problem pH change with respect to HCO3 and CO2 is in the same direction this is obviously a metabolic problem. What the F R O M E S Romes 1424 root. That's it. Thank you guys. I thought I made it simple. You guys understand. Please comment what you like to know more and suggest some good topics. I'll try to make it in the next video. Thank you.